In this video, I'm going to talk you through why your crochet seems to be getting narrower. So there's several reasons for this, but the main reasons are you are not doing a turning chain. You are forgetting which uh, chain from the hook you are supposed to insert your new stitch. You have missed a stitch somewhere in the row. Or you are not working into the turn and chain when you get to the end of the row. So in this video, I will show you what you are supposed to be looking out for when you are trying to keep your crochet straight. So here I have a crochet piece that is straight at the moment. Um, and I will show you how you can alter the shape of it without meaning to. So what we have here is half double crochet or half treble crochet in UK terms. And I've just done my turning chain of two. So if you find that your piece is getting narrower, but you think I did do a turning chain, we need to look at where you're putting the first stitch. So if you've got a turning chain of two, you need to be inserting your hook into the fourth chain from the hook. Now that does not include the chain on the hook. Okay. So one, two, three, four. That's where you should be putting it for half double or half treble. However, if you are learning and you are easily distracted or you haven't had a chance to focus because you're trying to do it, you know, somewhere busy or noisy, you might uh, accidentally put it in the fifth chain from the hook. Okay. So if you put it in the fifth chain from the hook, you can see that the piece is starting to tilt this way. And you won't know that you've done it. You'll just keep going and you'll notice, oh, the edge isn't straight anymore. What What's happened? So in, in this instance, that is because you've inserted your stitch in the wrong chain from the hook. This is why it's worth knowing which chain from the hook you need to work with for the different stitches. In my crochet stitch guide for beginners, it does tell you how many chains from the hook you should be using. And it shows you where you're supposed to put the hook. Okay, so that was the first example. Another example of where it can go wrong, especially with beginners, is if you have made your stitches and you think, okay, well, I've definitely done them, but you have had a lapse of concentration for one second and you have skipped a stitch. Okay, there we go. So there's a stitch that has been skipped. And what happens here is you might not notice because you are focusing on making sure that you've used a turn and chain and you've also made sure that when you got to the end of the work, you also uh, inserted your hook into the turn and chain at the end as well. So if you look at first glance there, you can't really tell that you've missed a stitch. But if you really look, you can see, oh, I have one fewer than what I started with. And if, if you check and see, well, I did use a turn and chain on both ends, then you have to use a process of elimination and figure out it might be because you missed a stitch somewhere in the row. So the, unfortunately, the best thing to do for that is to just rip it back. OK, and this time pay attention to how many stitches you need. So in this example, it's 10 stitches and I expect to have 10 stitches every time I finish a row. Another reason your piece is getting narrower without you knowing is because you have forgotten to insert your hook into the top of the turning chain from the previous row. Now, all I've done here is I have uh, stuck a removable stitch marker onto the turning chain so that I remember that I need to insert my hook into that turning chain. So it's a bit fiddly because you'll have to do it for every row, but it's great for beginners, especially if you're trying to keep your edges straight. 
So what I would do there is I've inserted into the top of the turning chain, which, which does count as a stitch. Okay, and then what I would do is I would make the next uh, turning chain. Okay, and I would make sure that my marker was at the end of that row in the turning chain. Just get it on. Okay, so I put it there. And like I say, it's a little bit fiddly, but if you're learning to crochet and you want to get it right, that is a really useful way of remembering, oh, I need to insert my hook into the top of the turn and chain as well. Um, other possible reasons why your crochet piece is getting narrower could be you have simply forgotten to do a turn and chain. And what you might do is say I go in and do a half double crochet into that first stitch. It kind of curves it inwards a little bit. It's not tall enough. So what could possibly happen when I come back uh, across the row is I might completely miss this. And then I end up with nine stitches. Then I end up with eight and so on. Okay, it will just get narrower. So remember to do your turn and chain at the end.